Hello everybody and welcome back to this new episode of Pixel with Alberto. Today we're going to talk about mercerization and Philodiscotia, which are practically the same thing. Let's see that together. A couple of weeks ago I was surfing on the internet and several socks with Philodiscotia cotton were displayed. Philodiscotia is practically mercerized cotton, but it's not enough. It is also produced by using precious long stable Egyptian cotton that grows exclusively in the delta of the Nile River. The cotton is then spun, twisted and gassed, and then put into caustic soda bath. To be a real Philodiscotia, mercerization is performed twice, on yards and fabrics. Double mercerization means double caustic soda. Philodiscotia is also a double twisted yarn that allows to have more dimensional stability on the fabric. So why is it called Philodiscotia? I mean, in Italian it means Scottish yarn or yarn that comes from Scotland. Because mercerizing has been invented by John Mercer, a chemical and inventor native of Lancashire, who patented mercerization in the first years of the 19th century. The first Italians that imported mercerized cotton to Italy noticed this brilliancy and brightness on the yarns and started asking for more of this Scottish yarn. So what does casting soda do to cotton yarns? Mercerization improves moisture absorption because caustic soda opens cotton fibers. It also improves dye uptake, which is very important to the dyeing process. The result is that mercerization improves brilliancy and luster of the yarns. Last but not least, caustic soda removes immature cotton and all oils and paraffins and pectins and residues on the cotton yarns. Mercerization is fantastic guys, but unfortunately mercerization uses caustic soda, which, you know, is not so green. It's very dangerous, especially for your skin and health. On the other hand, caustic soda can be reused during the caustic soda baths in series, so it's not the end of the world after all. This special yarn is used for high quality textiles such as polo t-shirts and socks. Regarding polo t-shirts, if you don't use Filo di Scozia, you will surely notice it, because the brilliancy of the polo t-shirt is super recognizable. Now that you know what is Filo di Scozia and what mercerization is, let's see together all the Q&A that you might have. Is mercerization always necessary? Should I always perform it? Of course not, guys. You add a process in the textile supply chain, so it increases the prices, of course. So, yeah, it's up to you to perform it or not. Can I perform mercerization on yarns other than cotton? Of course, guys, mercerization can be performed on flax, hemp, or vegetable fibers. It's very much important to keep in mind that mercerization is not used for animal and protein fibers, such as silk and wool, because caustic soda melts animal protein fibers. That's it for today, guys. I hope you have enjoyed the content of this video. If you have any questions, I am at disposal naturally. You will see my details below. And yeah, as usual, stay safe, take care. I'll see you guys in the next video.